Welcome to Mouse to House Campers again this morning, folks. Here we have a 1996 Auto Sleeper Legend on the Transit Chassis 2.5 Turbo Diesel. These are getting exceptionally rare to find now, especially in this condition. We'll just do a quick walk round and then we'll go into it with a bit more detail. But as I say, it's the Auto Sleep at Legend 2.5 Turbo Diesel 96 model with the famous monocoque body, i.e. leak proof, damp proof. So we'll just look at it into a, a bit more detail, folks. All solid. Now, a lot of these auto sleeper legends on the transit smiley front suffer from surface corrosion to the wheel arches. The door steps and the bottoms of the doors. I'm glad to report on this one. This only had a little bit of corrosion to the bottoms of the wings on both sides. This step was solid, as was the door. But on the driver's side, it had some corrosion there. Surface corrosion to the corner of the arch, nothing structural. Also to that step, and a little bit of a common fault on the door. So I've had this into a body shop, that's back to metal. That's been properly repaired. No filler there. I've had new wheel arches fitted. A new step. As I say, no filler, all metal. That's what we're looking for, folks. And I asked the guy to do a belt and braces job, which he's duly done, and he's even fiberglassed and made it better than new underneath. So just on a small fiberglass for preventative medicine in the future. It absolutely is stunning now. So it's just been recommissioned. It's 21 years old. And there's many, many years left in this now. As I say, most transits you'll go out to, they've just been had body filler on the wheel arches and to the doors, but that's not the case here. All solid, no advisories on the last MOT. You see, all solid under the door, on the steps. I've been underneath, the chassis is solid. So it was just out of some cosmetic on the front wheel arches. But I've had bottom wings fitted. So it's all ship shape for the future. We'll have a look under the bonnet. There it is, the indestructible Transit 2.5 DI turbo diesel. You've got your heavy duty engine battery, as well as our leisure battery. All solid, no signs of rust to the chassis anywhere. I drove this 200 miles back and it drove a dream. Cruising, would you believe at 70 mile an hour? all the way no problem the last guy's just had a full new clutch and timing belt fitted last year so it wants for nothing other than a new owner the only negative thing to say on the whole of the vehicle bodywork and being super fussy is on the back bumper got a couple of marks there and that can soon be sorted out if you want me to get a quote from the body shop before delivery or collection or viewing, I don't think that'll be a major job, but please remember it's 21 years old. And again, being super fussy, on the bottom of the step, it's had a touch in there. I think you'll agree, that's been super critical for 21 years old. 
you'll be hard pressed to find an example like this. I'll also get it serviced before delivery or collection. Let's have a look inside. Rip our feet, so it's nice. There's the gas fire, I've just switched it on. As you can see the pilot light there. Nice and toasty. All the lights are working. Passenger swivel seat. It's covered 76,000 miles. We've got two sets of keys, power steering, electric windows, five speed manual. It's got a full set of mats right through it. Got nothing to hide underneath, all nice. Let's have a look under those mats. And as I promised you, nice and clean. Similarly at the back. Lovely quality auto sleeper fixtures and fittings. I did have a lot of these knobs and brass surrounds in stock, so I went to the trouble of fitting a new set all around. It's just those nice little details that finish it off. So, all renewed fixings. Even went to the trouble of renewing the fixings in the wine cabinet. Control panel for your central heating, etc. As is the 12 volt. Only hot and cold working as it should do. Toilet flush. tricky to operate this with the camera but we'll try Here's the shower. Blinds, shower, curtain, original fitted shower carpet underneath in lovely condition. You got so this is the four berth model. You've got two above the cab as well as a large two, but I know people have fitted three or four in the large bed at the rear. This actually comes with the two berth conversion, which basically fits into here and that creates a cupboard across there i personally don't understand it because even if there's only two berth two of you going you still leave it like this and you can put all your bedding up there but i will do the pictures and it's there the facilities there if you wanted to make that into a cupboard three-way fridge mains 12 volt and gas, all functioning correctly. Ah. 
nice clean condition as you'd come to expect from Mouster House. As is the upholstery. Functional. All the lights work. Reading lights. Kitchen sink. spotless condition if we can get it working for you to demonstrate oh look at that that's the grill I've just got working that's about that Operate the oven. The quality of these fixtures. Never made them like this again, folks. Click, clunk, nice and solid. No rattling. Even a, an extractor fan there, still functioning properly. And there we have it. Just two easy operations, one lever there, and one lever there. And those two seats come together and create a massive queen size bed. I'll do some pictures of that. We've got some paperwork here. It's even got some of the original Auto sleeper dishes, plates, bowls. There's your status aerial booster. And there's some paperwork. Five owners, which when you consider the age 21 years old, that's quite good. Last owner has had it for two years. The only re he hunted this down. The only reason he sold it to me was he needed a sixth berth to take his grandchildren away. So he's had it for two years. The previous owner had had it for five years. It's currently MOT till the 24th of May 2018. No advisories. I've been no problem. I'll supply it with a new MOT as well as a service. So it'll want for nothing. And there's. The invoice last year by the last owner, a full new clip, clutch and a timing belt. I can confirm it drives silky smooth as it should do. Various invoices from the past, a few old MOTs. It all checks out correctly. You get the original auto sleeper instructions. So we'll just have a quick walk around the outside. A couple of cupboards I've missed. A 
Probably underneath. Large drawers operate as such. Correctly. Incidentally, these have all been replaced as well. There's your tools and jack and brace. Just put the step in. So to summarise, a 1996 auto sleeper legend on the 2.5 turbo diesel smiley front transit. It's had five owners. I'll supply it with a new MOT and service. It wants for nothing other than a new owner. Inside's lovely, everything operates as it should do. Being super critical on the bodywork, the only possible thing that you would like to have done is the scratches on the rear bumper. It's been recommissioned by myself with new arches, front wings and side steps. I have been underneath it and the chassis is all lovely. As you can find by the evidence online, it's not had any advisories for corrosion or bodywork. And there's those two little scratches. To be fair, it's in such lovely condition, it probably warrants those being done. But I can get a quote to have those painted before collection or after viewing. I'll be happy to deliver this anywhere in the country, folks. Free of charge. I can't be any fairer or more confident than that. All I ask, if you're happy to go ahead with a purchase, is a lift to the nearest train station. I can take a part exchange, motorbike, car, camper, motorhome. All I ask is you give us a ring to discuss. I don't get involved in part exchange prices via text or email. It's just easier to go on the old fashioned phone and have a sensible conversation.